What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate CC 2014. I just got in a question about 12 hours ago from a guy named Sam Corno. I think I pronounced that right. He says, hey, great tutorial. He's referring to my uh, lesson that I did on the rotating circle around the circle. And uh, but anyway, he says, uh, but what if the red circle is a rectangle and that rectangle can rotate around the circle but stays horizontal the whole time, like a Ferris wheel? Can you please explain how to do that? And I saw that as one heck of a cool challenge. I'm really tired. I'm getting ready to go to bed. And I was like, you know something? I think I can do this. And well, this is what we got. Pretty cool, huh? So as you can tell, our rectangle, it stays consistent all the way around. So let's go ahead and create that. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. Control or Command N on a Mac. And then let's open up a circle. Hold down the Shift key to draw a perfect circle. And put it in the center right there. Let's go ahead and change our color to a blue because blue is my favorite color. Now let's go ahead and add in a square because that's what he asked for was a square. Let's go ahead and put it about right here in the center. And let's let's go ahead and uh, let's change this. Let's do a purple. Add a color there. That looks good to me. About right up in there. Okay. So this right here is our seat. And this right here is our Ferris wheel. I reckon I spelt first for right. F E R R I S. Yes. Okay. Let's go with part of our seat. So what we want to do here, in order to make it go around our circle, we have to work with a well. In this case, our motion path. Okay. So we got to do two things in order to create our motion path. So what we got to do now is that we got to double click here, drag our time head to the one second mark. And then with our rectangle selected or our seat selected, hold down the shift key and drag to the other side. And this right here will create your motion path. Okay, the cool thing about a motion path is just like inside of um, Adobe After Effects and also just like inside of Photoshop, it enables the pen tool. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna click right here in the center. We're gonna drag it up to the top. We're gonna put it about right up in here we're going to click right here. We're going to drag this out to the side. Then we're going to click right here, drag this out to the side. You want to try to make it to where they are all about the same away from our circle. So that whenever it runs, it runs like so. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we want to bring it all the way around to this side. So let's go ahead and drag the time head right over here. Click. Hold down shift, drag over to this side. And we want to put it about right here. So we actually need to move that one back over to there. Okay, so then we drag this back over. That way it's in the same place. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing that we did up here. Uh, you're going to have to fine tune this to actually make it the way that you want it. Okay, we're going to click right here. We're going to drag this down to the bottom. And then we're going to drag this out to here and then drag this out to here okay so now straight back to the beginning and voila we have our ferris wheel okay wayne baron here with dark effects dot net and i gotta say thank you very much to sam appreciate your uh question on this very tired day been a long one for me. I'm going to go to bed now. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.